Hey guys, welcome back to my bathroom. I had the worst skin in the past two or three weeks just because I have been stressing a lot. I have been working from home a lot. I had some issues with my heating, so my skin was completely dehydrated, etc., etc., etc. So what I did from uh, a couple of weeks ago is that I just really, really upgraded my skincare. The thing is, I'm anyway at home, so I might as well actually have proper skincare. And so I am back to having an extra skincare routine, and I'm going to walk you through that. I didn't wear sunscreen today, but because I'm wearing makeup, I'll go into double cleanse. I'm going to use the Vanilla Clean It Zero. You've seen that before in my videos. I like to use a spatula all the time. Um, and then I'm going to use this and this. I have decided to start having one mask every couple of days or so. Um, so hopefully that should work. Today I'm not going to mask, so I'll, I'll save you that. And then I'll put this. So the first phase is cleansing. And as I said, because I have been having very, very stressful days, I'm just really trying to use this time as my me time. The thing is that because um, I no longer work in an office environment, I don't have that buffer time from when I'm coming from the office or the client side to my place to actually uh, dump some of the some of the of the energy or the thinking, etc. Normally, if I'm in a bus, which is why I usually like being in a bus because I don't have to be super alert. I am able to just um, stop thinking about work and although I will have lots of ideas that are racing, I have here a massive painful blob. Uh, it's uh, a lymphatic thing so I will need at some point to massage it a bit so that it goes down but that's one of the things that I typically get around my ears. But I was saying typically I would be in a, in a, in a nice uh, 30 minute, 45 minute, most likely 45 minute commute to get back home and that usually gives me the time to uh, acknowledge all the thoughts that are racing to my head and then by the time I make it home, yes I still am thinking a little bit about work but not to the extent that I cannot, um, that I cannot actually disconnect and start thinking about other stuff. Now because I'm working from home one of the first things that have gone through the window is that buffer time and so I find that because I don't have something where I'm not looking on my screen, I just continue to think about work and I've had two weeks of that and my brain is fried. So I'm now going very extra with my routine and I'm using that as this is my unwinding. So I'm doing a little bit more than what I would have done if I had been in the office. I'm using this flannel by Elemis and I just bring it in hot water and then I massage my face. I think this bit typically makes my face very very soft and I really am massaging because I want to open up my pores. I have been using makeup because I was extremely tired recently and I felt that because the combination of being tired and not wearing enough makeup made me not feel in work mode so today because I knew I had a lot to do I actually properly put on my makeup and as I always say it's my armor I get mentally in that setup to do that it's like there is a, a person who works with me. He always says that he needs his tie. Otherwise, he's not able to think straight and his head keeps bubbling. It's not true, but it's just saying. So I have uh, cleaned my face. I'm going to now uh, rinse this, go once more over my face with the towel and then I'm going to use my second cleanser. My second cleanser is going to be this um, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm by Elemis. It's one of their best sellers. I, I just got this. I talked about it a couple of videos ago. 
about um, almost running out of my Emma Hardy cleanser and so actually buying the backup. I wanted to completely finish the Emma Hardy one but then I have this thing when, when I'm not really doing well. I like to lift my spirits and I felt that maybe just using this balm because it's new is something that was going to make me feel good. So I just think that because I have been using the Emma Hardy one for so long, I kind of got bored with it. I'm still going to finish it, otherwise it's no longer a valid no buy, right? I'm still going to finish it, but for this, uh, for the past week, I think I've used this four times now. So for the past three times and today, I'm just going to use this one because I really need something to lift me up. Um, and as I said, this Nova is not a punishment. I'm almost done with my Emma Hardy one. So you probably see it in my April MCs. Though I actually I use so little that I'm not really sure you might see that. But yeah, for now, I'm just being naughty and using this. Another thing where I have been a bit more lenient with myself has been in terms of all what I wanted to achieve because I have been really trying to use this time as a time to improve myself and everything but some days it's just difficult some days I just don't have the energy to to work out to stretch I was I did a bit of stretching last week and the week before this week I just didn't have the energy for it and then I decided it's okay I don't have the energy for it I didn't read my book, I did not start drawing or painting, but at least I played a little bit with my flowers and I got to do a bit of laundry. So you can't have it all and I don't want to have the pressure of feeling that I need to make the most out of every single day. Yes, I want at the end of this to actually come out uh, feeling much stronger than I got into it but I also want to recognize that this whole situation is obviously taking a toll on me and I'm managing three people remotely and coordinating everything plus other other stuff is just taking a toll on me mm. this has a herbal smell and I really like that and it's almost a little bit tingly and the herbal smell is I, I should say something that I prefer to the Moringa one. I think that's why once I tried it just once, it was a bit harder for me to go back to the Emma Hardy one, but the Emma Hardy one is also gorgeous. So I'm going now to go with round two. I'm going to go with this, put it under hot water, ring it, and then just give my face a good wipe. And then we'll be back. Now my face is completely clean. I will put my cleansers away and then I will put my little uh, uh, washcloth into the, the wash. But then that would be it for now because I just do my skincare in steps. So I will stop at this because now I have removed my makeup because I have stopped working. So I will actually go to probably have a nap just 15 minutes i essentially need to close my eyes because i'm so tired and then when i'm back uh, i'm going to probably run a nice bath and then after i do my i have my bath then i'm going to do the rest of my skincare i made some popcorn so i'm probably gonna have popcorn maybe watch a youtube video have a nap and then come back hey guys it's a few hours later so i had watched a few videos so that uh, my brain kind of unwind to unwind my brain and right now i'm just sitting up here i dropped something yesterday so i'm just taking up all my things to get ready for a nice bath i'm going to use this muscle ease by tissero i really really like these i bought them before this whole craziness started when i could still buy stuff online and um yeah i have backups of this but uh this i know i sound like a broken record but this has been one of the best things i have ever bought since the start of the year 
I have been using these non-stop and you can tell they have come very very handy I'm going now to have a nice bath and then I'm going to do the rest of my skincare so I had mac and cheese for dinner I chatted with a few people and now I will just chill and I'm back I had my bath and um, Typically, I, I have a hot bath and it really relaxes my muscles, but I always need something like five to ten minutes after the bath just to sit because my heart rate goes through the roof. Uh, it's a combination of the hot bath and the fact that typically whenever I run uh, a bath or a shower, I always have the mirror heating on and the towel rack on, and I really don't do well with heating. So, yeah, I always need to cool off for a bit. I still actually feel my heart rate goes like boo -boo -boo. But yeah, it helps with the knots around here. Thank you, somebody had suggested actually that I put my uh, laptop at a, higher, at a higher level. And I remember that I did have one of those things to, to, to hire, um, to, reposition your laptop and I had bought it from Flying Tiger uh, three years ago I think when I was still in Brussels and it was somewhere in, in, in my electronics drawer so uh, after reading your comment I definitely went and I readjusted where my laptop is so yes the pain has been much much better uh, here and here so I do feel a lot less of the knot uh, separately on the chair that I was meant to order obviously the factory has closed and I thought about it a lot and then I, I just eventually ended up going to another website reconfiguring the same chair that I wanted because I'm very specific in what I like right and um, I just decided to accept the fact that it will arrive sometime mid-May or in even early June but I just don't want to be in this situation for if it's avoidable I wouldn't want to be without a chair so I have fixed the eye level thing that means that my laptop is a bit tilted so I have to be careful for, with my wrists because I did not pick one of the keyboards that we have in the office and right now I think my office is closed and honestly I just don't want to go out like yeah so we'll see about that let's see in a couple of months i might have an update on my chair i also was looking up um office office um, um desks i was looking up sit stand desks these are quite expensive so i just gave up on that then i was looking up normal desks and i thought maybe that's a bit overkill because I am still toying with the idea Do I want a very small desk but if I get that that means that it will probably be facing a wall and I kind of like that my setup currently faces a window so maybe I might not go for that maybe what I will do instead is eventually get a basket where I put my office stuff such that I'm able to set my station very quickly in and out uh, but that would be the extent of it I guess uh, what I used right now is this Zellens by Dr. Mark Collins. Uh, it's PHA Biopeel. These are resurfacing facial pads. They have some acid in them. If you have sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend using something like that. I do not have sensitive skin. Also, I typically tend to, I mean, I used to uh, get my uh, facial done with Natalia uh, once a month. And typically what she does is, um, a strong acid well it's bespoke but she would probably use a bit of acid in a lot of the different areas around my face not really in my um, forehead uh, nose and not in my t-zone but mostly around here because that's it that is my troubled area but so because she would normally use that she uses a blueberry extract and she uses her own products I wouldn't be able to use um, uh, AHAs or PHAs etc but because I have stopped going to see her, obviously, with the current situation, I haven't had any acid uh, peel in quite some time. And so I just decided to start using these because I had them. Um, I, these are 50 pads. I had it for free, actually. It was in one of my 
deliveries of whatever products I bought and it was a free gift with purchase because apparently I had spent an eye-watering amount of money on beauty products I guess for them to give me a Zellens product for free but hey not complaining it came useful and so um, right now as I'm trying to really uh, get to the resurfacing of my skin I'm going to be using that throughout the month of April. I already started using it a few days ago. I think it's having an effect. And then once I finish it, I will go back to my the ordinary glycolic solution. So because I like to wait a couple of minutes between products, I'm going now to brush my teeth. You guys don't need to see that. And then I'll come back after I brush my teeth to apply my eye cream, my other treatment, and then take another pause. Sometimes if I'm feeling really extra and I have the time, I might just spray a bit of Cera Zinc. This is something that uh, it, it's zinc sulfate solution by La Roche Posay and it cleanses and calms your skin. Uh, my skin is not irritated right now, um, so I wouldn't really go for that. Instead, I'm going to go straight to my eye cream. I, I still use the same one by Innisfree. I'm not very picky when it comes to eye creams. I don't have wrinkles or anything like that. So I just use it for moisture. And this is an old cream. It's not expired yet. So that's why I use it morning and night or at least whenever I remember so that uh, I can finish it. Then my treatment is going to be uh, this Neostrata Pigment Lightening Gel. You've seen it in my uh, morning thoughts video where I walked you through what I was doing in the morning. I used just a little bit of it. I really trust this brand Neostrata. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was Canadian. Is it Canadian? Made in the USA. But I, 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 I thought it was. I thought it was Canadian. But anyway. This one is made in USA, which is fine. But um, I think the, the, the products are really no fuss and quite effective. It is, I would put it uh, as one of those brands that are more medical, like the uh, um, cosmeceuticals, as they call them. So you would have Medicaid in here. You would have, do anybody remember Dermacetic? If you're an old subscriber, you probably remember when I used to use Dermacetic. It's, it was actually a really good brand. I should actually repurchase some of their stuff. I will see if I can find some of their stuff here. But it was one of the best brands I had used of all time. So, yeah. I should actually look for, for whether they carry it in the UK. But yeah, Medicaid, Dermacetics, uh, SkinCeutical, things like that. These are um, brands that are usually a little bit more expensive. I mean, SkinCeuticals is up there in price. But um, a lot of the, of the cost of the product is really in the formula of the product rather than the marketing of it. So maybe less SkinCeuticals because I, I feel like recently they have been um, sending a lot of stuff to influencers and stuff like that. So that is definitely coming uh, in the markup that they have. But I think the other brands like Dermacetic, etc., they never, never advertise. Um, now that I mentioned this, I actually, now it makes me really want to go and look at Dermacetic and, and, and um, SkinCeuticals. That would be probably my next purchase if I finish something. But looking at my stash, I don't think there is anything that I'm going to finish uh, because I have a backup of an eye cream. This I only bought because I didn't have any any treatment for that purpose. And the only thing I had repurchased was the a moisturizer because I had run out of moisturizer, but you have seen that last month. So that's why I use in the mornings. Uh, in the evening, actually, I don't really use uh, a moisturizer. Right now, I am using this uh, Lancer Omega Hydrating Oil with Ferment Complex. The, this was a sample that I had received. Um, I, I received it recently. It's not, it's not something that I've had for a long time. I think maybe a couple of months or something. And then just apply it. Dr. Lancer is very famous. He's, he's one of those dermatologists that 
came up with their line, kind of like Dr. Dennis Gross, Marco Lenz. Though, um, Dr. Lenz actually specializes in skin cancer, so he does a lot of products that are very good for sensitive slash, um, I wouldn't say sick skin, how would you, uh, how would you call, compromised skin, is that a right word? I don't know. But yeah, so Dr. Lancer, this is a hydrating oil. Last time that I tried an oil, it completely broke me out. I had the pie oil. I only have this one bit left. So it was the rose hip oil. And um, I had a project over summer and over, when, uh, over summer and autumn where I worked close to where pie is. And so every now and then they would walk down where I worked and they would be giving away samples. So I did get a sample of that rose hip oil and every time I used it, a day later I would just wake up with tons, like hundreds of small little little bumps on my face. And it happened a few times and every time I thought that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Then eventually I realized that it was actually the oil breaking me out. So what I did is that I gave the samples that I have to my sister and because I wasn't sure whether it was the rose hip or pie, I didn't want to take the risk again. And so I gave the rose hip oil that I had from the ordinary to my sister, although I hadn't tried it at all. So this is this Lancer oil was my first time going back to using oils simply because I actually trust what Dr. Lancer would actually put out there. So I wouldn't really worry much about it breaking me out. So I've been using it for a few days now. You could see that I was halfway through the bottle. So far, no problem. So I will continue doing that because I feel that being uh, at home, I just, uh, my skin is completely dehydrated. Um, I feel that because of the heating and just staying indoors, it's just a, a nice thing to do. So typically, by now I am done, this is my routine. What I will do is that I would probably just lay in bed and think. <laughs> I don't even put on music, I just like to let my thoughts go. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to use my little, um, this is called a water pick water flosser. So I'm going to use that. Uh, that's what I have been using for, I think, almost a year now, if I'm not mistaken, to clean between my teeth so that I don't, I don't actually use um, the disposable things. And then I put on my retainer. If I'm re being really, really good, I might put moisturizer on my feet. But it's been three weeks, I haven't done it, so uh, I'm not even going to lie about that. But um, yeah, at this point, I'm extremely tired, very relaxed from my bath, very relaxed from having massaged my skin. So after I do this and lay down for a little bit, hopefully I should be able to go to sleep quite easily. So that is my relaxing nighttime routine where I try to do a lot of the things to soothe uh, my body, my head, and uh, you know just recover from grueling days because i have been having long ones that is it for today i'll see you in my next video take care